what else is coming up? Well, I think these changes, these combination of things that are all happening around the radio and the video and media sphere are going to force us to change the way we did things. In my book, I, I have a chapter on programming. I write all about the lessons of programming, um, especially breakfast shows. You know, what do people need at breakfast time? They need the time, they need the weather, they need the traffic, they need the news, they need all of that stuff. But I think these changes, the combination of search and sort, voice control, artificial intelligence, uh, and linking that with radio streams, I think that's going to change the way we do programming. All the lessons that we used to teach and know worked in a breakfast show format may not work anymore because there might be new ways to get that time call and, and traffic information. Um, if I ask my Google speaker, it can give that to me now. Okay, Google, good morning. Good morning, Steve. The time is 10.50 a.m. Right now time. in Gladesville, it's 22 and cloudy. Today, it'll be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of 29 and a low of 19. And tomorrow, there'll be scattered thunderstorms. Your commute to work is currently 19 minutes with heavy traffic if you take Victoria Road by car. So have now I've nice got day. all the information I could have got from my breakfast show Here's the targeted latest to news. me. And I've got it set up so that it gives me my three favourite news bulletins. From ABC News Bulletin at 10.11am today. An Australian one. This is ABC News. Good morning, I'm Ellie Browns. The okay, Google Bank skip. Bank. A British one from the BBC. From BBC News Summary at 10.06am today. This is the BBC News. Hello, I'm Jonathan Isaac. President Trump has made an unannounced trip to Afghanistan, saying he has reopened talks with the Taliban and believes they are open to a ceasefire. Mr. Trump addressed the Okay, Google, skip. Why would you go there? Resuming the New York Times briefing at 9.52 p.m. last Wednesday. From the New York Times, I'm Michael Barr. It's Wednesday, November 27th. Here is what you need to learn. The Times reports that okay, Google Trump stop. has. So, in my little Google Smart Speaker, I've just programmed it to give me all the things that a breakfast show format gave me time, weather, traffic, <coughs> news bulletins. Um, and I can select the news bulletins from the sources that I trust and that um, I want to know. So I think a lot of thinking is going to have to be done about new ways to format breakfast shows in the future. All shows, but particularly breakfast shows, because all the things that we used to know worked are now being um, recut by the new devices. So I've spent my career working in programming and media and I've evolved breakfast shows to meet the changes of the time but the changes that are coming that'll be up to you guys you're going to have to think about what will a breakfast show live on radio need in the future will we need to put bookmarks at various places so that they can also be played on demand via smart speakers um, how will we change the format of our breakfast show where we used to always give traffic reports every 15 minutes. We told the time after every song. Will that still be needed when I can ask the device that it's playing through, what's the time? 